the instrument cluster displays an oil level warning. However, the driver believes that the oil level is probably okay. He drives to the next workshop. If a customer visits your workshop to complain about an oil level warning, first check the oil level with the engine at operating temperature. This will help in determining whether the message is relevant. If the oil level is significantly above the minimum, as in this case, the message is not relevant. The engine oil would have lasted for many more miles. In the future, the message should only appear when the oil quantity is lower. The bracket for the oil level switch must be replaced with a new extended bracket. Remove the engine cover. Next, remove the single bolt for the oil dipstick guide tube. Fit the engine carrier arm in place and connect the engine. Ensure the engine is then secure. When the engine mount is released, it can be raised easily. Proceed to remove the underfloor protection. Note that it consists of two parts on this vehicle. Now, disconnect the electrical connector from the oil temperature sensor. Proceed to drain the engine oil from the oil pan into a suitable vessel. When the oil pan is more or less empty, reseal it. Next, remove all of the bolts holding the oil pan in place. Following this, remove the oil pan. Unscrew the bracket for the oil level switch and detach the cable from the sensor. Next, detach the oil level switch from the bracket. Proceed to fit the new extended bracket to the oil level switch. By the way, a new oil level switch has been available since October 2007 with the part number A00 7153032. Use this opportunity to replace the oil level switch as well. With the extended bracket, the oil level switch penetrates deeper into the oil pan. This modification means that oil level warnings will occur later than with the current, shorter bracket. Reinstall the parts in reverse order of removal. Before reinstalling the bottom sections of soundproofing, first check the oil pan for leaks. Lastly, check the software in the CDW and update it if necessary. Navigate to Control Units via Main Groups, then select Information and Communication. Now, access the Assist Active Service System. Here, you can easily generate a control unit log. Check the software release in the control unit log. If version 30 or later is installed, the data status is OK. If the software release is below 30, control unit programming must be performed in Assist. Perform a quick test and, if necessary, erase the fault memory. With the new bracket, oil level warnings will only appear in the instrument cluster when the engine genuinely needs additional engine oil.